understand the goal is that the Indonesian government says, on our own, we are committed to achieve 26% reduction by 2020. But if the world comes and helps us, we will raise this to 41%. And we in Europe are saying, great, we will help you to go up to 41%. Uh, and my, my, uh, my take is that uh, Indonesia is really serious and that achievements uh, are already being uh, uh, made. And that, uh, we, I mean, obviously I don't have a crystal ball, I cannot see what is happening in 2020, but I'm very hopeful that it will be achieved. And actually by doing so, it serves the interests of, of this uh, part of the world because your part of the world, this part of the world, is the most at risk of natural disasters. Nice progress. I mean, in a very difficult environment, we are able to achieve not at the level that we achieved in Aceh and Nias, definitely, but we made a good progress. Something that is, for me, it's impossible to do if you don't have this kind of mechanism. At least access and at least progress to make you be in touch with the people on the ground. These are some of the, the what is the most important thing is these operations will finish. I mean, that is not going to to sustain but the most important thing is you should be able to transfer the knowledge, transfer the capacity and in, in this case we are thinking about transfer the capacity in disaster management to the government of Myanmar, to the government of ASEAN. We are able to transfer this capacity not just in disaster management but also in managing development, development matters.